Good morning, Charlie. You don't answer. Good morning, Mark. I'm Mark. In case you forgot. some food as well, in case you feel up for it. Good girl. <coughs> That's all you're getting for the day, Shari. No, no, please don't leave me. Shari, I know this is hard. It's hard for me too. We have to establish some boundaries. We got to define our relationship, all right? This doesn't work. I'll see you tomorrow and we get started. How's the evil Sherry doing these days? Hmm? What are you talking about? You know, you know, sometimes before I open that door, I can hear you talking with the other Sherry, the evil Sherry. The way you do two voices scared the ale out of me at first. I know more than you think. I know more than you think. Is she here right now? No. She 
It's not real. You don't think I know that? You're starting to forget. You're sick, Sherry. And you're feeding that sickness until all it does is eat. So you think you got me all figured out now? Almost. Just one thing I still don't understand. It's here in the journal. I understand that you and Eric are getting engaged, then you find out what you found out, and blah blah blah. And here, here comes your beast, evil Sherry. Hopefully, not the real Sherry. And Sherry can't eat, Sherry can't sleep. Sherry wants to confront them, but Sherry's too scared, isn't she? Fuck you. <laughs> And here, here it is when it gets really interesting. Here, it gets really, really interesting. Were you going to tell me? Tell you what? Come on, Sherry, you know. Not really. Eric, how'd you find out? His emails. He doesn't know I have the password. Yeah. Shit. <sighs> Sherry, what do you want me to say? We're drunk. It didn't mean anything. Oh! As long as it didn't mean anything. Sherry, please calm down. Oh, you're unbelievable. Do you know that? Sorry. You have no idea how shitty I feel about this thing. Please leave me. Mark, I'm a writer. That's kind of what I do. That's what? why I didn't go straight to the police. I had to be sure. I thought I'd follow you for a few days, but you didn't make me wait long. It was a risky move even for you. What you did that night. There were so many dead bodies around you. Do you know what I think? I think you wanted to get caught. That's why you kept a journal. You wanted to get punished. Oh. Oh, lucky you came along. You don't get it, do you? This isn't punishment. I'm trying to save you. Then do it! Save me! I will. I meant what I said. I'm gonna stop you hurting other people one way or the other. Stop, Sherry. Sherry. Or the boundaries of our fucking relationship.
hurts. <laughs> oh, does it hurt? Linda? 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 Oh shit. Shit. Shit, Linda. Linda. Oh. I, I wanted to save her. I killed her, Linda. Come on, Linda. Wake up. Linda! Oh shit. Oh shit. It wasn't the first time. It was an accident. It wasn't an accident. This never was about saving lives. You liked it. Deciding who lives, who dies. Please, Sherry. Please, Sherry. I can save you. I can save you. Please, Sherry. It's not too late. I can save you. This is not about you saving me. Maybe I can save you. let you out. I didn't ask you to. Then what? What do you want? Proof. What proof? What proof? Mm, well, a finger. A finger? What? Do you want my finger? My finger? No, no, no. This is fucked. Can't you see that? It's fucked. I'm trying to save you here. I'm trying to let you do that. Well, you can't ask me for that. And I'm not gonna do this, Sherry. You know, when I was a little kid, I used to question myself, what if they found out? What if my family, my friends, what if they found out? They're around the other way around. And so you learn how to fake it, how to blend in. And then you're so lonely, you don't even notice that anymore. But then, then someone like you comes around and you tell yourself, maybe it doesn't have to be like this. Maybe I don't have to be alone. Because you know that if you fall, that someone is gonna catch you and you let go of the rope. Or at least this is what you keep telling yourself all the way down. If I am just a beast, if this is 
what I am to you. Just don't come back. If I'm gonna do this for you, then you'll believe me? Yes. <laughs> this is wrong. This is wrong. <laughs> Mark, do you love me? There is nothing more right than this. Oh shit. I left my knife in the other room. I'll be back. Don't be late, my love. Come on, Mark. The fucking knife! Oh, you forgot my knife? Oh shit, Mark. What happened to you? Okay. My knife, my fucking knife. I hear it! It's a knife without the knife! What's it? You're a sick fuck, Mark. You're a sick fuck. Oh, sure. Wait, that wasn't. Yes? Hi. Um, I'm looking for some companionship for the night. <laughs> Where are you? Uh, I'm at home. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I've never done this before, so it's my first time. Okay, but where are you? Oh yeah, I'm uh, 26 Park Wall Street. Um, it is close to... Close to the 7-Eleven supermarket? Yeah. How do you know? I just try to guess. I'll be there soon. Kiss. Awesome. Sherry. How did you know? Nice house. Do you live alone? Yeah. Why? I'm just asking. That's obvious. <laughs> 
Hi, there are no pictures of you in this house. I'm kind of the black sheep of the family and I just don't want to put my face all over the world. So it's a long family story. Yeah. So what do we do now? Easy lady. I'm just having some little discussion. Well, I have to wake up early tomorrow in the morning, so... Yes. Okay, sweetie. Show me your room. So, what about money before we start some action, honey? Sure, business first. I understand that. So, are you sure this is your first time? Yeah, I told you. So, what are we going to do? I, uh, you know, I was thinking about getting some action of that, but you will have to blind me and tie me first. Could I pay you enough for that? Whatever you want, darling. How do you feel? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Are you getting naked now? Yeah, just a second. Oh, this feels so good. <laughs> Do you care if we get a little wild? Thank <laughs> you. 
it's not and I'm on my way there is traffic but uh, I'll get there as soon as possible <sighs> stay calm I solved the problem so everything will be okay Robert. Can I ask what it's regarding? Yeah. Tell him that it's urgent. I have to talk to him about it all. Please. Um, can you tell him to call me back? Of course. Can you give me your number? Well, he knows me. He has it already. Of course. Something about the tar, right? He won't. Something has come up. I need to tell people it's urgent, very urgent. Please.
because of the pain. I don't know if I love you. I can't answer the question right now, and you know why. <laughs> Oh. 
Okay. Someone closed the windows. Did you call a doctor? No. No one's been in. Is everything all right? No, my head bursts. <sighs> I'm still driving. I should be there soon if the traffic stays okay. I hate you. But you can't hate me. We don't know each other. It was an accident. An accident? Yes, this thing just happened. It won't be easy, but I'll be there. Please be quick. Yeah, but I can't fly. I'm driving. And do you hate me? Okay, don't leave me alone.
will be there very soon, I, I promise. Okay, I just want to take sure someone was coming. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm... I'll be there. She's a very emotional woman, please take care of her. She's very afraid. Yeah, I, I understand that. I I'm driving. Check everything three times, it's all right. I recall the people in the charge and they will be here on time. The trucks are ready, the tower is ready. Okay, great job. Now, uh, listen to me, listen carefully. Uh, you have to take a pen and my folder. You will find it, uh, you should find it on, the, on my desk, uh, right above the computer. Okay, well, I don't see any folder. He's not here. I, I'm checking all the drops. Oh, fuck. I've got it here. Fuck! I've got the information that you need right here in my car. Shit. Fuck, I, I've, I've got the file right here. Oh, that's great. You know, Nathan, in all these years I know you, I never know you to fuck up like this. You're not the same anymore. Dustin. Dustin! Fuck you! Yeah. I think we got out of. Okay, um. Wait a moment. Okay. Okay, uh. I, I've got the fine right here um, listen uh, I've got to I got to give you all the information that you need if you got to write it down okay 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 uh, you sound strange are you drinking something are you drunk no are you kidding I'm drinking a glass of water. Dustin, is a glass of water what you're drinking? Yes. Because if you're drinking alcohol and I found out I will bury you alive. Understood? Will you? <laughs> I don't fucking care. You will shirt in your fucking car while I'm here sitting my pants because of this fucking tar. You're not my boss no more. You can threaten me so don't fucking threaten me! Am I clear? You're drunk. Yeah, so fucking what? It's something. Don't give up. Okay, 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 okay. You...
I'm the child's father. She's quite worried, and we're wondering if someone was gonna be here sooner or later. And she said that you're the only person she knows. Yeah, uh, I'm on my way to the hospital. Uh, it's not really far, but there is still traffic. Is she right? Well, there's a complication. My God, is the child okay? Yes, uh, she's in the maternity unit. Um, I'm worried about Diana. The blood clot is located in a brain area that is very hard to operate, and uh, it would help if someone close to Diana was around the, before the surgery. Yeah, I'm. I'm still driving. I must be Cherry. There's a problem. They say the clot is in a brain area very hard to operate on. You're in the best place, don't worry about it. They let me use the phone for a minute. Oh, my head. When will you get here? <sighs> Not an hour. Hurry, I can't resist anymore. Why did I fuck with you? You don't love me. The important thing now is the surgery. Let's talk about the rest later, okay? Oh, uh, yeah. They will cut my head in two pieces like a watermelon. <laughs> They're, they are giving you gas, are they? Do what they say, okay? You are in good hands. Yeah, you're my prince. Someone keeps opening the window. Tell them to close it. It doesn't work like that. I need someone here to speak for me. Diana. Diana. Jesus. Jesus. Hey, Dad. You left in a mirror. Like father, like son. Your shit. My shit. You thought it was bound to happen, huh? I'm not like you. I'll do the right thing. There's no need to run away. We wouldn't change everything. There's no need to run away. It wouldn't change anything. I will dig your grave. I will take your body. And I will burn it. Lisa, I'm not her. Hi, this is Diana. I can't get to the phone right now. Please leave a message. It's me, Nathan. I know they're operating on you right now. I just want to say good luck. Your baby is a good thing, and you're a good woman. And I'm happy for you. You deserve to be happy. Yeah, it's true. I sentenced myself. So what? I don't give a fuck. I will do what needs to be done. Even if they hate me or love me. I'm strong enough. I can stand in front of the people judging me. 
I don't give a fuck on my work. This is life. I'm driving to life. That's more important than the tar. I couldn't destroy everything. It's done. I found them. They have accepted the job. The highway is close to the civilians, gates are going to be open on time, and the trucks departed. Now, I get this gang to decide to solve the last problem. It's done! Very good. Now you're sober. Good job. You made it. Yes, uh, thank you, Nathan, and it was a honor to work with you. Goodbye. Goodbye, Dustin. What are you looking at? You can't believe it, right? But I made it work. Now I'm driving to my baby and her mother. The operation will be okay. Mom will understand the situation. We will fix everything together. One day this will be a beautiful memory. I'm sure of it. I cleaned my family's name up. I know why you ran away. I know it very well. Now I understand that. Nathan, where are you? Listen, we can work this out. No, we can't. I don't want you to come back. You're not my son anymore. I don't recognize you anymore. You need help, Nathan. There's no baby, no woman, no job. You must stop it now. What are you talking about? You shot. I understand that. But don't worry, we will fix it. No, 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 we can't. It's too late. Please tell me where are you, Nathan? I sent someone to pick you up. I don't know what to do. Please come back home. I can't. She's in surgery right now. I must drive to her. Why don't you understand me? Nathan, they're all gone. They're all dead. What? What are you talking about? Who is that? What happened? They need cures, Nathan. They all died in a car crash over a year ago. You must let them go. This is not gonna help you. Please let them go. Who, who are you talking about? Diana, your son and your brother Robert. They're all dead in a car crash while you were at work 14 months Shut ago. up. I can't do this anymore, Nathan. You still have this crisis of identity. I'm old. I have not enough strength for that. Who's your father? know you. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Nathan? Is everything okay? Yeah, we are. Will you come? Yes. You must let us go, Nathan. You have to do it. I can't. We are okay, but you are not. Our son and I, your brother. I can't. We're all gone. It's too late for us. Shut Nathan. up. Please leave your life. Shut up. Stop suffering. Like Shut that. the fuck up. Please let us go. Mm, shut up. Shut the fuck up! What the fuck are you looking at? Hey, Dad.
Leon. It's always fine. You have to protect you from me now. Look at me, Leon. Look at me, Leon. You can write again. It's written in the book that you can, you're gonna come here and find your muse. You just have to look inside of you, okay? Hey, you know what? It was a good idea coming up here one day before opening. What? Forget everything for a few days, spend a bit of time together. Huh? Just me and you, peace and quiet. Yeah, we really need it for our brains. Oh. See, there's me making a mess of everything as usual. <coughs> okay, sweetheart. Who's there? I'm gonna go next door. I'm just gonna prepare some okay. stuff. I'll be back. Okay. Too. Who the hell is that? We're closed, right? Leon. Uh, Leon, wait. Well, honey, she called from the car. She said she'll be coming here every minute. What's going on here, huh? What's going on now? Uh, Come on. Uh, all right, I'll let Claire explain. We're gonna find a bathroom. It's over there. Thanks. So. Nice weekend. Together, you said. Well. I, maybe I thought we could do something together. Here with my editor, my agent. Fantastic. You trapped me here. Yeah, I did. You, you trapped me here. You, you did. You did with this. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Come on, that's not, not that bad. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. Just sit down. It's fine. Sit down. <sighs> it's really a beautiful place. Thanks. Yeah, we, uh, we open tomorrow. Oh. So we're going to come up here for a <coughs> peace and quiet. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Has Emma arrived? Yeah, she's in the bathroom. Oh. Yeah, it is here already. Isn't she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
She said she'll uh, be here. The Jill that I know, Jill, Jill? Yeah. She called from oh. the car. She said she'll be here any minute. Did she? All right, okay, what's going on? Uh, I let Claire explain. Honey, where's the restroom? Right there. Thank you. Let's do this. Look, it's written in the book. Something about the ink. Because of their simple beliefs, they didn't recognize the power that lays in the pages and in the ink of the written stories. What is the ink of the written stories? Blood. What? She cursed the book it's written in. Blood. She? Who is she, Leon? This book. Three million of copies sold in just 12 weeks. Number one bestseller in Europe, translated in 11 languages, and a movie that is based on this story. Now, your fans, your editor, and of course, your lovely agent are wondering where is the next book? <clears throat> uh, Edda, I think he's under a lot of pressure already. We're all under pressure. Also his boss is under pressure. And that boss is wondering when he's going to see a return of that alpha million he advanced for the next Leon Kennedy book. 
Well, I understand that, but I also understand that creativity is not something that you can just turn on and off whenever you need it. Oh, spare me, please. You speak really like it's really intense, don't you? Hey, okay, look, all right, I know it's been a while. Uh, your deadline was due six months ago. Okay, maybe he needs a bit more time to get himself back. You know we discovered who he is, right, honey? You're right, honey, but at some point he needs to get off his ass. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, because, uh, you need me to get off my ass to crank up the cash machine, right? That's not what we mean. That's exactly what I mean. Do you remember when you came to me six years ago with this love manuscript you had? Didn't I get it published for you? And then I bought one of the three copies we sold. I believed in you. I didn't give up on you. And you didn't either. So then you came up with this thing about the pseudonym and boom. All of a sudden, you were the new king of horror. Ada, you're making it sound like... Don't get me wrong. I mean, he's talented. That's why that's so frustrating. Yeah, well, I'm frustrated now, too. I can't sleep at night. Half the time I wake up in the middle of the night hot in cold sweats. So, Leon, what happened? Uh, how did it start? Okay, it started, I... Do you like someone else? Oh, come on. Strange. I thought we were closed. Yeah, come on, guys. We're acting like kids during a summer camp. Yeah, all right. Hey, we don't need to know thanks. <sighs> There's no one around here. Sort of deja vu. <sighs> Don't be silly. Look what I found. This is weird. <sighs> Not at all. <laughs> You're a funny guy. What? Now it's clear why you brought us here. Congratulations, everybody. This is start again. Bye. Leon Kennedy, also known as Joan Shepard. It's fantastic. Baby, I knew it time. We were so worried. Leon has been busy after all. I don't know where that came from. I didn't write it. Of course you didn't. Joan Shepard did. Don't open the door. Don't open the door, Claire. This book. Three million copies sold in just 12 weeks. Translated in 11 languages. Number one bestseller in Europe. And a movie based on the story of this book. Now, after two years, your fans, your editor, just wondering, where is the next book? Edda. I think he's under a lot of pressure. We're all under pressure. And his boss is also under pressure. The same boss who advanced half a million dollars for his next book and just wondering when he's going to see a return out of uh, the new Lee and Kennedy book. Well, I understand that. But I also understand that creativity is not something that you can just turn on and off whenever you need it. Just spare me, please. You speak really like a true Hey, look, okay, all right. I know it's been a while. Your deadline for the manuscript was six months ago. Okay, maybe he needs a little more time to get himself back. You know we discovered who he is, right, honey? Yeah, right, right, right. That's all wonderful, but at some point he needs to get off his ass. Oh, right, of course. I have to get on my ass to crank up a cash machine, right? That's not what we mean. That's exactly what I mean. Do you remember when you came to me six years ago with this manuscript about love and didn't I get it published for you? I mean, three copies sold, one of those, I bought it. Because I believed in you, I didn't give up on you, and you didn't give up on yourself. So, 
You set the literary world on fire, and then Orinaichi became the new king of horror. Ada, you're making it sound like... Look! I know it's talented. That's why this is so frustrating. Frustrating? I'm frustrated now. I can't sleep at night. I wake up in the night in cold sweat. So, um, yeah, what happened? How did it start? How did it start? Why? Well, Are you okay, Leon? Yeah, I'm just feeling a deja vu. Silly. Come on. Look what I found. This is weird. No. Ah, That's not weird at all. You're a funny guy. What? <laughs> well, people, here it is. Start again. A book by Liam Kennedy, also known as John Shepard. Fantastic. Baby, I knew you needed more time. You must be busy after all, and we were so worried. I don't know where this came from. I didn't write it. Of course you didn't. John Shepard did. My name's Hollis. Hollis Shepard. Let her go. She has no idea who I am. Do you? Let her go! I've read the book. I've read the book just for the end. But now a deal is going to an end. And I'm here to destroy your world. What is she talking about, Leon? Turk. Do you think your lovely Leon is a gifted novelist? Do you have idea why he has this writing block since years? Because he's not a gifted writer. He published some stories and I offered him a chance to be the best in the world. Is that true, Leon? I made a mistake. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Come on, let's read the first page. Look, I'm telling you, I didn't write that book. Of course you didn't. John Shepard did it. Oh. All right. Let's see what's in the first pages. I can't read anymore. He and his wife escaped in a restaurant for a long weekend and started cooking the meal for themselves. His purpose was simple. He needed to rediscover his muse. Wow, it's very graphical. I like it. Maybe a simple is not very clear as a word. I think you need something more... Jill, please. Okay. Okay, go ahead, please. He believed that the tranquility would help him, but it merely made the silence inside his head much louder. After a year of days and nights of failure, he was visited one evening by some friends. <laughs> you can't really keep a secret. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, it, it's better to finish. And um, everyone was very surprised because it was a special night in a man's life. The supernatural had been very good to the man, to all of them, in fact. Cheers to that. Cheers. 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 Come on. Cheers. To you and to the new book. That's enough, okay? No, Leon. No, no, we stop now. That's enough. Let her finish reading it. It's better to finish. Come on, it's just getting good. We got to hear what happens next. Oh, I, I, uh -huh, I get this. You all did this, didn't you? Yeah, you all did this. This is just a prank, some stupid prank to get me to start writing again. Yeah, but, but not me, I swear. Oh, yeah, you sure? Oh, and the door thing? That was, a, that was a nice idea. That was great. Well done. 
Then who did it? We didn't do it. Well, if you didn't do it, then who did it then? Honey, I promise, we didn't do anything. Well, all right, all right. So now, listen to this. Because of their simple beliefs, they didn't recognize the power that lay in the pages and in the ink the story was written in. But soon they would, when a suffocating silence settled down around the restaurant, trapping them inside and sealing their fate forever. What the hell is happening? Calm down. Okay, relax, please, relax. What the hell is going on? Look, it's the story, all right? Whatever's written in here, it's happening here, out here. The editor is the first to meet his horrible fate. The Dark Day as a man's literary creation. Creation? Are you saying that your novel is coming to life? Guys, it's a book. It's fiction. It attacks a small town. It's infection. Okay, so what happens next? You were reading it. So what does that mean? The silence, it overwhelms you. You become, it's one shared thought, one shared desire, this desire, of thirst, thirst for blood, that's what it is. Okay, okay, but how to fight silence with noises? It's a book, it's fiction. I don't think so, not anymore. Oh my God. Answer me, Jill, Jill. Just don't worry about her now, we need to leave this place. How is that possible? Move, move. This isn't move. happening. Okay, if everything that is written in this book is happening, we should find out what happens next. And everything returned to the way it had been. Thankfully, fine. Thankfully, fine. What does that mean? She tricked me, Claire. I wrote the book that made him a superstar. And after all that, after all that I gave him, after all that I did for him, he still would not leave you. Why then? Because I loved him. Yeah, I know. But he's supposed to love me. But the love for you, Claire, for me, it's so powerful. I commit it, so I curse you all for the eternity. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I'm so I escaped from her, and I stole a book. And why did you do that? She's infected. What? what? Oh, Jesus. She's turning. As it was said in the book, everything's written in the book, she's turning. <sighs> I'm 
I wrote that. That's what I wrote in the book. That's what happens. She's infected. The darkness, it comes in the silence, but it fears the light. Claire, quick, grab the torch. Ah. Ah. Ah, oh, God, Jesus. <laughs> Get her in the bathroom, quick! Ah, Jesus! Not working! Quick, lock her in now, lock her in! What's gonna happen to you? Darkness will overwhelm her. It infects you from the inside and it devours you. We need to get out of here. Can we make it to our car? No, we'll never make it in time. So what do we do? We just stay here? Oh, how strong? How strong is the darkness? It's unstoppable. All right, in the book, it's unstoppable. The wall, it's impossible to destroy. The darkness, it'll destroy everyone and everything. Can in fact it be killed? Yeah, I, I suppose. Hey, we're talking about Jill here. You have to understand, that thing is not Jill anymore. Fine. Fine. Be my guest. Shit! What are we gonna do now? Are we just gonna stay here until the darkness kills us all? No, we survive. We wait for someone to find us, and they open the door from the outside. I don't think anybody will come here soon. We have to find a different solution. Is that anything like at all? We are overlooked. What? It's anything at all? It's my fault, all right? Okay, it's my fault. It's not your fault. It's the book, the problem. I, I mean, I think about it. It's not you. The book is the problem. Everything is written there. Comes to life. Let's see what can. That's be it. That's it. That's it. Everything that's written is written in the past, right? So if yeah. I write it again, if I write the book again, you can change the ending. Yes. Oh, right. So changing the end, that is your big plan. Yes. This can't be real. Oh, I'm almost killed by a novel. That's just nuts. <laughs> move, move! Ah, fuck. returns to the way that it had been at 10 a.m. that January the cold 29. Right in the fucking book again is a good idea. Okay. Where's the book? Whoa, we left out there. Okay, I'll go get it then. No, you cannot go out there. Oh, uh, yeah, right. And uh, uh, alternatives? We don't okay. have any. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay? No, Look, the lights, the lights. <laughs> The lights are still on the restaurant. They'll disorientate it for a little bit. There'll give me enough time to get the book, all right? Leon, oh, please don't go. Shit. Please. Oh, fucking light. Ah, oh, shit. All right, listen. All right, keep this. Just keep it for light. And what am I going to do with this? I'm going to cook them? Brilliant. Okay, fine. Keep the light. Wait for someone. If they come and open the door, then you'll be all right. All right. Please don't go. Please. Yeah.
Leon, Leon, is that you? Can you hear me, Leon? 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 Honey, is that you? Ah, darling, get out of here. Move, move, adjust. 